In this episode of Life in Japan, we are exploring the fascinating city of Yokohama. This international city has a vibrant downtown full of shops and towering skyscrapers, and the largest Chinatown in all of Japan is found here. This city close to our home has many surprises in store as we explore Yokohama Life in Japan style. Today I'm being chauffeured by the beautiful, illustrious Ruth Ryder. <laughs> right over here we're gonna have Yokohama Station. Yokohama is Japan's original international city, the first seaport for international trading to be opened after Japan's isolation era. With over three and a half million people, it is the second largest city in Japan by population. It blends seamlessly into the larger urban sprawl of Greater Tokyo and is included when counting Greater Tokyo's overall population. But make no mistake, Yokohama is a unique and special place all its own. You can immediately tell when you enter Yokohama by car. The road system goes from a chaos resembling spaghetti on a plate to a methodical grid and block structure. Oh, girlfriend, city driver, come on. Not my cup of tea. <laughs> we are visiting nearby Yokohama in typical Ryder family fashion, finding an affordable hotel and exploring new areas, staying within the confines of government regulations and recommendations during COVID. While many things are closed or restricted, there are a number of new experiences to be had. Yeah. My space. Yes. Yeah. So Five, we're so arriving. Right but, there, straight ahead. Shoes. Oh, there it is. Perfect. Pants That's right, right here. I think so. Pants Hotel yeah. my stays. Here we go, guys. Two, you did it, one. Zoot. Awesome! Yay! Here we go. Gonna check in. Go to the very top number. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think? Look at all the beds! I'm going to sleep right here! Pretty cool! We're going to have to sleep. Oh, there's two bigger beds. That's good. Should we turn the lights in here? Look at the view! Whoa! Very tight. Very so tight. That's the train station there. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, I found the light! Yay. We forgot the switch at home. Oh boy. <laughs> Way up, but we're gonna survive, huh? Very cool, guys. I like our room. And the basement, that's where the car is parked. Here we are in our parking spot. Let's get in the car and go. Our exploration of Yokohama begins with the historical district where old and new meet in beautiful juxtaposition. Red brick warehouses that once served as custom buildings now serve as shops, museums, and event spaces in this beautiful area. You have a little visitor. Yeah, a visitor. Who is it? It's a shop kid. It's a shop kid? Cool. This is an area that Ruth has always wanted to explore more, and tonight we're getting just a taste of what it's like. Many shops fill the inside of these old buildings with novelties and specialties you'll only find here. In fact, most of them ask that you don't film inside, so we can only show you a part of what it's like. <laughs> Josh Hakun, Josh Hakun, don't for the show. We're not gonna last long. What do you see, Anna? Is it cool? Wow. This is where mommy wanted to go. The red brick warehouse. Warm up. I'm a horsey. You're a horsey. All kinds of attractions for shopping and dining fill this area, and they are all beautifully connected with ample scenic walkways. You can imagine how special this would be on a cool summer's evening with festivals and fireworks, bustling with people having a good time.
Look at all those bugs in there. My goodness. That's a lot of bugs. Oh, it's my little lion, king of the jungle. Nice. The this pancakes is what you look good. Guess, so you should get this guessing. Oh. So hungry. So hungry. Okay. Look at the beautiful dinner. Oh my goodness. Some pancakes. Yum. And orange juice. How is it, Anna? Good. Good? Becca, have you even tried yours yet? No. no? I smell it. It's so good. Yeah, I'm good. Look what came for us. Oh my yesness. That is really freaking cool, huh guys? The Minato Mirai area of Yokohama boasts the Cosmo Clock 21, one of the biggest Ferris wheels in the world. Clocking in at 108 meters, it held the record as the tallest Ferris wheel only to be surpassed by another Japanese Ferris wheel shortly after it was built. It would be so weird tonight. It's doing a psychedelic like eyeball. flip eyeball. The eye of Sara. Since everyone was so chilly, we decided not to do the 15 minute car ride to the top and back, but to keep moving along and keep warm. Hopefully we can get back here and try it sometime soon. <laughs> Anniversary, we should come here for ours, huh? It's a place for weddings. That's what we have discovered. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's expensive. I bet you it is expensive. It's a beautiful wedding chapel. Look at that place. It looks like a Disneyland for getting married. Parks fill the seafront of Yokohama and add even more beauty to one of Japan's most iconic skylines. The open spaces between the skyscrapers is a rarity in Japan, and that open feel mixed with the waterways and the internationality of the city makes it feel like Chicago to me, another iconic city along the water. Oh look, I think it's... Oh, it's still 533? I know. It's already this dark. Doesn't it feel way later than 5.30? Maybe like it's 7. Huh, What? It feels way later than 5.30. Oh, it's only 5.30? It's only 530? Well, it's 5.33 according to the giant Ferris wheel. I thought it was like 8 o'clock. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Let's go take a picture with the angel wings then. Awesome, Sarah. Okay, we can do you again. One, two, three. Okay. My turn. Okay. <laughs> okay, now look at mine when you do that pose. We just don't come out of your okay. Okay, perfect. Let's go. <laughs> Whose kids are these? I know. They're dramatic like their father. <laughs> I love it. We're gonna dance. Of you guys. Come, Dash and Sarah. Hurry, Anna. <laughs> what a way we have to do this. We're freezing. Let's get going. Let's get going. We made it back. Yay. 
What a night on the town. I don't know where they are. Oh, and this one, please. Can you use the are you enjoying some ice cream? Yummy, Sarah. Oh. That's it, so Mr. Iggy and having some ice cream. Fun. Cheers. Cheers. It didn't take us long to find a park right by the hotel. Hey, dude, are you gonna do this one? Show me. It's like the one at our park. So slow. So slow. Do you know what else Yokohama is famous for? Chinatown. Yokohama's Chinatown is the largest in Japan and one of the largest in the world. Since Yokohama became Japan's front door to the world, it's only natural that one of the biggest settlements of foreigners, including Chinese, would happen here, especially because foreigners needed special permission to venture outside of this area. The food looks very authentic, doesn't yeah, those are it? Those interesting candied strawberries. They have so many shops with lots of good looking stuff. Where are we going to end up eating? Look at the end of the road. It looks like Bowser's Castle. It looks like Bowser's Castle down there, doesn't it? <laughs> it's like a real Bowser's Castle, dude. And I'm walking backwards. You're walking backwards now? Okay, watch where you're going. Watch where you're going. Okay, Tiny Street. Here we go. Kawaii no de. Onawe wa. Zero to Chura. Chura. Oh, boy. <laughs> what, what are you gonna get? It's a strawberry. Strawberry one? It's sweet strawberry. Can I have money? Yes. Oh, oh like that? Mm. Oh, I'll eat. And right next to it is something that looks good to daddy. Uh -huh. So I get some karaage and some french fries? Yes. Is it good, Becca? Uh, it looks good. Who else is going to try it now? Yeah. Hey, Sarah. Why don't you try it real quick? Well, we ordered some chickens, some big chickens and fries. It's got chili powder on it. <laughs> chili powder and they're spicy. <laughs> How is it, Becca? Spicy. Spicy, huh? Mm -hmm. But good? Yeah. I like it. Hey, well, I'm gonna try a bite of Daddy's huge chicken. Is it spicy? A little bit. It's hot. Look, let me show you on her. Look, come on. Isn't that pretty? Oh. Should we buy some? Yeah. Should we buy it and buy some? We're getting some fun souvenirs here from. That's not a name. Chinatown. Chinatown. Yes. Just one bag. What'd you get, Sarah? Turn your head, let me see. Oh, that's so pretty. And Anna's getting one now. Anna, can you turn your head, let me see. Very nice. Very nice, Rebecca. Hair things. Hair Not things. For Not go. for us, dude. Well, that was a fun little shop. That was. Yeah. I'm cold too. Let's go. Everyone ate spicy food and now we're all thirsty. These like Chinese looking Jigo Humbai keys. Apple tea date, Nate? Yes, please. Apple tea for daddy. Look what we found. Mommy's. Favorite, favorite grocery store. <laughs> Kyomo Super, right by Chinatown. I'm sure they're selling food to all the vendors here. All right, now it's time for our next excursion. Where will we go? What will we see? Ha ha ha!
Oh my goodness. Okay, should we get ready to go now? We're gonna go to the big park with the big slide. Yokohama is home to some truly beautiful parks, and we've come to Kanazawa Natural Park to see if their roller slide is one of the best in Japan. When traveling with kids, it's good to let them get their energy out at fun parks along the way. There's where we want to go. Massive slide. And there's where we are. So what do we have to do? Or walk down that huge mountainside. I think we want to go the boring way. Why? It's not going to be boring. Are you going on the master slide? Yes, we are. The master slide. The master slide. I wonder if it's going to be bigger than the other one we just did. What do you think? It's longer than the other one? It looks like a long slide. We're about to find out. Look, it's under construction. The big roller slide. The whole reason we came. <laughs> Look, there's the start of the slide. And it goes down, down, down. This may even be bigger than that other one we just did, but I don't know. We'll have to come back and see, huh? Look, Daddy, I, I think the other one is longer. Cheese! We found some fun things to climb on, huh? I did it! I did it! Anna did it! Almost! Sarah's in the process of doing it. You too? Yeah, dude. All right. Whoa! Josh was doing good. This is a steep mountain side here. Way to go, dude. Okay, Becca's trying without any hands. Let's see if she can do it. No hands, Becca. No hands. Whoa, it's a good, it's a good. Whoa, oh, 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 oh. Yes, Becca, awesome. Anna too? Oh, she used an arm. Got to use both hands. <laughs> you gonna try again? Well, that was a fun park. It'll be way more fun with the slides open. Gambate going up. <laughs> We're exploring close to our hotel now. Some fun looking stores here. Girlfriend, did you see? Another Yomu. I wonder. Do you think this is Gyomu Land where they all started? Huh? Maybe? Yokohama has a number of pedestrianized streets that are dedicated to commerce. Tonight we're checking out two, starting with the Isezaki Mall, a long shopping street with local and international stores, restaurants and outlets. It went on so long we didn't even make it to the beginning as we came in at the end near our hotel. The shopping streets are marked with decorative markers to let you know you can buy, buy, buy. Oh, this is cool in here now. This will be fun on the way back too. We'll have to walk back this way. After grabbing a bite to eat, we headed over to the Yokohamabashi Shopping District, a bustling covered shopping gallery lined with over 130 stores and stalls selling fresh and prepared foods. The atmosphere was vibrant and fun. We loved it. Look at their door here. The whole door is a screen that lights up. Isn't that cool? There's a cool little fish market here. All kinds of stuff in here. That is cool. I don't like it. It smells like The smell? It'll be a yummy snack Mikan's tonight. Mikan. Whoa, that is a really good price on apples. <laughs> what do you think there, Azu? So it reminds me a lot of the markets in Brazil where you have fish and fruit and veggies and random clothing stores. <laughs> Those are really cool shopping streets. Yeah, that was a cool street. All right, guys, now time to head back. And right, we're back in the hotel. Enjoying some drinks, right? I was playing that game. Do you want to take off your jacket, dude? Aren't you hot? No. I want to be hot. 
Movie time. Movie time. You must be my assistant, Chelsea. I'm Natalie. Oh my goodness, everybody's enjoying a movie here, huh? Does it feel want to huddle up? Yes, I. Okay, cool. So, Chelsea's going to lead y'all in some laps. Y'all are going to do a quick warm up. You got it? Yeah. All right, awesome. Y'all follow her, okay? So girls, Daddy was doing the comments on our YouTube videos and I got a comment that says, Do you think or dream in Japanese? I, Anna, first, no, you. Never. You don't think in Japanese? Think, yes, but I didn't dream it. You don't dream in Japanese? No. Oh, what about, what about Becca? I think in Japanese, but I don't think I dream in Japanese. Oh, really, Sarah? I don't dream in Japanese, but maybe I, I think of. I think you're probably thinking it, cause you guys, girls have been speaking a long time. And Joshua, he's still learning Japanese, so you think a little bit in Japanese, huh? Yeah. yeah. Girls, do you remember when uh, you did know Japanese? I didn't have a dream in no. Japanese people because why? It's just not real in their in their dreams. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Is that what you expected? <laughs> I expected them to dream in Japanese, but I knew that Becca and Anna never don't remember a time when they didn't know Japanese. So, but when they were four years old, what two languages did they speak? They were four. They spoke English and Portuguese. <laughs> they were learning Portuguese, and now they don't know any Portuguese. But they'll ever remember not knowing Japanese. So now it's just English Japanese. <laughs> Kids are in bed. It's time for mommy and daddy. No, I'm just about to go to bed. <laughs> the next morning, I got up early and headed out to grab a hot cup of 7 Eleven coffee and hike up to nearby Nobeyama Park where I could get a sunrise view of the city. It was cold, but beautiful, and from the vantage point, I had a commanding view of the city. From here you can see the features that make up Yokohama's geography, the low areas, hills and bluffs that come and meet Tokyo Bay. If you look closely in this urban sprawl, you can see the individual personalities of the people coming through in their homes and gardens. Now it's time for our last morning in Yokohama before heading home. Where's your mask? This one was in my pocket. There's no better way to finish our trip than along the bay at historic Yamashita Park. Wow, that's a giant shipyard over there, huh? Now we've seen it? Now we can go. Now we can go. <laughs> That's a nice little yacht for your boat. So Ruth and I just did an absolutely epic shopping trip at Don Quixote. We thought maybe it would just be a moment, but it turned out to be so big that it's going to be its own separate video. <laughs> you liked it, huh? Oh, it's glorious. <laughs> A back ride. Oh, let's go check out all these flowers, guys. Okay. Look at that water pink. Yeah, let's go see it. Let's go. Let's go check out this little flower Rose park. Rose Garden of the Future. Rose Garden of the Future. Well, we found it here. Having an adventure during a pandemic can be a challenge, as you have to be flexible and careful. But just because there's a pandemic doesn't mean that you have to stop enjoying life. We're a little out of season for these roses. Life is a gift from God, just like family is. If you value life and value family, you can have an adventure anywhere, at any time, even if it's close to home. It's a fairy fountain. A fairy fountain? Our quick excursion to Yokohama was a breath of fresh air, and we look forward to exploring it more in the future. What was your favorite part of the trip? Comment below and subscribe. We pray for your good health. And until next time, we'll see you on Life in Japan. Bye-bye. It's finally almost 11 o'clock. We can go eat. Does that sound good? Let's go. Let's find mommy and say it's time to eat, mommy.